Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back this morning. I have a friend with me today who's going to help me sing our good morning song. Are you ready to sing with me? It goes like this. Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Lara for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brain strong, like super strong. So come along, yes, come on friends, for some learning and some play. All right, let me put my friend down and we'll go through our schedule because we have so much planned today. You see, I'm wearing my hat that I made yesterday. So today we're going to do our emotional check-in and we're going to do a song and game instead. We're going to guess how I'm feeling. Are you ready to do that? And then we're going to continue with our weekly investigation. So this week our focus book is The Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Isn't that such a good book? It's about eating. Love eating cake and cookies. We'll do a fun activity around sequencing today. And then, of course, we'll sing our goodbye song if we have time. If not, I'll just give you a quick wave. All right, I have something behind my board. And as always, I'm going to give you a letter clue. Oh, almost forgot my feeling song. Sorry, boys and girls. Let's do that first. Okay, remember it goes the tune is uh, Catch a Little Baby Bumblebee. Hey, here we go. I have a feeling inside of me. Once I name it, you will see. I have a little feeling inside of me. Oop, it's, ooh, I'm a scaredy. Did you guess that? Hey, here goes another one. I have a little feeling inside of me. Once I name it, you will see. I have a little feeling inside of me. Oop, I'm, yes, happy. Can you make a happy face? Okay, one more. I have a little feeling inside of me. Once I name it, you will see. I have a little feeling inside of me. Oop, I'm angry. That's right, you're getting so good at this. Okay, now we can do our letter. Oh, Miss Lara, I'm like Eric Carl making a mistake in his book. Are mistakes okay, boys and girls? They are. Grown-ups make them all the time. That's how we learn. Okay, so to make this letter, I'm going to need a little curve like this. Now you're thinking, I've made, I've seen that letter before. It's a C, but wait, there's another little curve that's gonna go down like this. And make sure I've made it the correct way. What letter is it? Yes, it's the letter S. S for a special long word called doo -doo -doo -doo, sequence. That's right. Us grown-ups, we like to make fancy words for simple things. So a sequence is the order something happens in. Now, I bet you didn't know that you follow a sequence every morning. At least I hope you do when you brush your teeth. Now, I want you to think. When you brush your teeth, what do you do first? Hmm. That's right, you take out your toothbrush. That's your first step. And then you wet your toothbrush and put toothpaste on it, not too much. That's the second thing you do. Then the last thing you do is you brush your teeth. That's a sequence that you do over and over again every morning. And just like brushing your teeth follows an order, books follow an order too. 
So today I have a very special activity that's going to help us learn the sequence of events in the Hungry Caterpillar. So let me go to my project place here and I'll tell you the materials we need. So it's called the Feed the Caterpillar game. We need a cereal box, paper, scissors, and glue. And like always, you can get as creative as you'd like with this. So this is what the finished product is going to look like. It's going to be a box, and it's going to have a little place where we can feed the caterpillar. Now, in Monday's story, we learned that the caterpillar sometimes likes to eat things that are not so good for him, huh? So let me show you how I made the Feed the Caterpillar game first. So I took a cereal box, an empty one, and the first thing I did, and you might want to have an adult help you, is I cut out a circle in the middle. Now I did this by poking a hole first like this. Now if I can do it here, and then I cut around it. It can be a little bit tricky. Let's see if I can show you. Let's see. And this is going to be the caterpillar's mouth. Okay. And parents, you can actually reuse this game over and over again. So you can make this into your child's favorite book character and have them feed the letters of their name, feed numbers to, the, to whatever character this is. So it's a good thing to have handy uh, for some learning. Okay. So the next thing I did is because I wanted to make my character box the hungry caterpillar is I used some red paper. So I took a big sheet of red paper and I cut it down to the size of my box, just like that. And again, you'll have to cut out a hole for the mouth, just like that. And then I glued it down. Um, I used my glue stick, but you can use anything you'd like to glue it down like this. Now I bet you're thinking, what if I don't have red paper, Miss Laura? If you have white paper, you can use that and color it red. You can color your cereal box or just leave it a cereal box and you can pretend. Okay, so in our story, our character has yellow eyes with green oval eyes in the center and a green nose and purple antenna that come out from the side. So let's cut those and get those started. Now remember yesterday I showed you a little trick for cutting things very quickly. Do you remember what it was? It was stacking things on top of each other. That's right. So I'm going to start with my yellow eyes here. And if you notice, they're a special shape. It's the shape that's called an oval. Yes, a lot of people call it a circle, but a circle looks differently, doesn't it? It's not so stretched out. So I'm gonna use my scissors to chop all the way around. Now, if you have trouble with your scissors and coordinating them like I am, remember, I'm a grown-up. I've been doing this a while. You might wanna draw your oval first, and that'll help you staying on the lines. So here are my two eyes. So I would glue my two eyes on using my glue stick like this and put them down. Now I need the green ovals for the center of my eyes. The center, boys and girls, just means the middle. So I'm going to stack my two pieces of green paper and I'm going to do the same thing. Use my helper hand and cut around just like that. Now, cutting can be really hard when you're four years old. Another good way to practice is by taking pieces of paper and just cutting them into strips, and that'll help you coordinate where you want to cut. So here are my green ovals, and I would glue those down until I got something like this. See? Next, I need a little green nose. I wonder, though, if the caterpillar in real life that you might see outside has a nose. Sometimes uh, fictional characters, like in our book, they'll have noses, mustaches, all kinds of things that true caterpillars or things that you might see in the real world don't have. So I just cut out another little oval here, and I would put it down in the center. What's left? Eyes, nose, the antenna, that's right. And Eric Carl made those purple. He liked to use bright colors. He said they made him happy. So here I go again. Now this one, what I like to do is think of the letter J. If you don't know what the letter J is, ask a parent to tell you, what does a J look like? Because the antenna kind of look like the letter J. 
and like like magic, ta-da, we have two which will glue to the top. So once we have all of that, you'll need to make some sequencing cards. Now these are really easy to make. You can do it a couple of ways. You can actually draw a picture on some paper. So I drew five strawberries and I even labeled it oh, four strawberries and put the special letter S for strawberries here. You can cut out pictures from a magazine just like I did here, or you can print some pictures, which is what I did here. And I have a special song that's gonna help you remember the sequence, okay? So it goes like this. On Monday, he ate one apple. On Monday, he ate one apple. On Monday, he ate one apple. That's what the caterpillar did. And then on Tuesday, he ate two pears, that's right. On Tuesday, he ate two pears. On Tuesday, he ate two pears. On Tuesday, he ate two pears. That's what the caterpillar did. And next, there were three plums. But did that fill him up? No, he was still hungry. So on Wednesday, he ate three plums. On Wednesday, he ate three plums. On Wednesday, he ate three plums. That's what the caterpillar did. And then there's four strawberries. We'll just go ahead and put those in there. And five oranges. But the caterpillar was still hungry. And did he eat good for you foods or not good for you foods? That's right, not good for you foods. He ate things like a lollipop. Ooh. And he ate things like pie, which is delicious. But after eating all that fruit, ooh, and some ice cream, and chocolate cake, which was my favorite. And do you remember after he ate all those things how he felt? That's right, his stomach was hurting and he made a horrible face. That poor caterpillar was stuffed. Then he grew into a big, fat caterpillar, didn't he? All right, my friends, well, I do hope that you try out this activity. And again, you can make it with any character you like. If you do end up trying it, please send a picture over here to the station where I am. And if you happen to send your address with that, you get one of these fun activity books, which I haven't mentioned in a while. So they're full of stickers and fun things for you to do with your family. Okay, so make sure that you come back tomorrow. We're gonna do the butterfly life cycle. So hmm, what happens to a caterpillar so that it becomes a butterfly? I'll leave you wondering. Until then, my friends, Miss Lara sends you a big squeeze and a big smooch. She reminds you to read and to play and to use your imagination every single day. Think like a scientist. Observe the world around you and play. Okay, we'll see you back here tomorrow, my friends, for some more learning and some more fun. Until then, goodbye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.